I have another contract when you're ready, one that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Such. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide, but you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one, be seen by no one. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus.
Well, well. Look who we've got here. I've fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. Show me what you've got. Die, the Imperial. Die. Have a little faith. Faith? Are you telling me we're supposed to rely on the good grace of the Vodafone? Greetings, Imperial Brother. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. Roderick is dead, and Sithis is appeased. Unfortunately, the same is not true of the client who arranged this contract. You were to avoid detection and kill Roderick by means of poison, yet you failed to follow these parameters. Here is your reward, minus any bonus. It would seem you and Gogrin share a similar style. Now go, and do be more careful in the future. So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. Do you like parties? Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house, 
and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Go. The sixth guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devisi Dran, and Primo Antonius. Now, who might you be? Please, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, you poor dear. Well, this does make things difficult for me. I want to find the gold as much as anyone, but you need it so much more than I do. The little dark elf. She seems a nice enough girl. But to be perfectly honest, I've never trusted their kind. The little dark... That's right, it's a Breton name. I'll have you know the Petites are one of High Rock's oldest and most respected noble families. Yes? Not bad, not bad at all. Really now, you're such a... You can't scare me. You're pathetic. Sure, that's cute. That's just... T what a one... Don't make me laugh. Really now, you're such a charmer. Oh, please. Not bad, not bad at all. You're pathetic. 
You're full of it. Sure, that's cute. What a wonderful compliment. Is that so? Blah, 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 what a bore. You can't... No, sure, that's cute. Is that... Goodness, what can I say? Not bad. Blah, 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 what a bore. Is that... Really now, you're... Good one. You're a big fat liar. Yeah, I get it. What a wonderful compliment. Is that... Blah, 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 what a bore. Good one. That's just... No, you... Blah, 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 what a bore. That's pretty good. Blah, 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 what a bore. Oh, no, you do me too much honor. You're good. Personally, I think she's a little floozy. She's been eyeing young Primo Antonius, probably smells his wealth. That's right, it's a Breton name. I'll have you know the petites. Oh, that man disgusts me. I find his entire manner offensive. Why, just before you got here, he told me the most off-color joke about an Argonian maid. Well, if I can be perfectly honest with you, I find Neville quite attractive. Red guards are so... exotic, don't you think? It's obvious that young Primo comes from wealth. A chest full of gold would be mere spending change for him. I have a good so, idea where... So here we Hello, I'm Dovesi. I'm very pleased to meet you. Now that you're here, we can really start looking for that chest of gold. What I mean to say is, before you arrived, we all just sort of glanced around a bit. Now that we're all officially here, we can look in earnest. Go ahead. No, you do me too much honor. Don't let... It's enough. You think that's funny? You've got a point. You think that's funny? Please, you're a big fat... No, you do... You're full of... It. It's enough. Sorry, I don't get it. I can't argue with... You think that's... Goodness, you're pathetic. Not much to tell about me, really. I'm from Morrowind originally, but my family moved to Valenwood a few years ago. Honestly, I don't think she likes me. It's because I'm a Dunmer. I heard her say something to Neville, and it wasn't very nice. Every now and then he looks over at me and smiles. I think he's sweet on me. If Nels finds the gold, maybe he'll want some company. I know he's a retired soldier, but not just a soldier. He was an officer in the Imperial Legion. I hate the Legion and everything it stands for. When those soldiers came to Morrowind, they persecuted my people and stole our lands. Neville may not be in the Legion anymore, but who knows what atrocities he committed. It's pretty obvious that Primo comes from a wealthy family. He would never be interested in a girl like me, I'm afraid. He? He did? Oh my goodness, what should I do? Should I talk to him? Or maybe play hard to get? Or should I, you know... Or would that be too forward? Oh, you think so? I mean, it is rather forward, but I like it. All right then. I'll wait for him in his room upstairs. Oh, thank you, thank you! Hmm. Oh, yes. So, you finally showed up. It's about time. People of my station are not accustomed to waiting. I'm listening. 
I doubt you really mean that. Not bad. Whatever you want. You're full of it. Don't. Please, I... That's a bit excessive, don't you think? Sure, that's cute. Blah, blah, blah. You're pathetic. Don't. Please, I'm sorry. That's pretty good. I doubt you really mean that. I doubt you really mean that. Not bad. Not bad at all. You're full. Whatever you want. Whatever you... Not bad. Not... Blah... Don't be silly. Not bad. Don't... Please, I'm sorry. That's a... You're pathetic. I doubt you... You're a... Yes. Yes, whatever you say. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good one. Don't. Please, I... Don't be... Blah, blah, blah. What a bore. Good one. No more. Don't be... You're a big fat liar. Not bad. I accept. I have no choice. You're a... That's a bit excessive, don't you think? You're good. Can I be honest with you, my friend? I find Dovisi captivating. She possesses a beauty beyond compare. Maybe you could do me a favor. If you speak with her, put in a good word for me, would you? I would be forever in your debt. Apparently, the poor old woman thinks she's from a well-to-do family. Truth is, I have servants with more nobility in their blood than her. Nels isn't drunk. He doesn't even try to hide that fact. But what else is he? When the liquor is dried, what remains of the man? I think Nels drinks to forget. Maybe about some tragedy in his life. He plays the buffoon, but I sense a deep sadness in him. I know he's a retired Imperial Legion officer. Apparently, he's been in campaigns all across the Empire, from Skyrim to Morrowind. I also get the sense that he's very eager to find the gold. I can't imagine his life of servitude to the Empire left him with much to retire on. It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Indeed, my father owns more property than the East Empire Company. I have a good idea where that chest might be. I'm going to open a go tavern. Good. Not that I... A tavern? <laughs> oh, I should have known. Leave it to a barbarian to spend an entire chest full of gold on beer and mead. How pathetic. You... a very nice person. I very much want to find the gold, but I wish you luck. It's pretty obvious that Primo comes from a wealthy family. He? He did? No opinion, huh? Hmm. Oh yes, maybe we'll speak again later. You seem like a very... Certainly. He? He did? Oh. oh, you think so? I mean... Hmm. Oh yes, maybe we'll speak again later. Hello, dear. Listen. I've been thinking, why don't we form a kind? With the two of us working together, we're sure to find the chest before anyone else. 
What do you say? Do you want to team up? Oh, wonderful. This is going to be such fun. So, any ideas where we should begin searching first? Oh, good idea. Maybe the chest is hidden under the floorboards. All right, I'll head down there and start looking. All right then, I guess I'd better start looking. That gold's not going to find itself. Here we all are. What kind of party is this? Someone has been murdered! I'm beginning to get a bad feeling about all of this. I'd leave right now if I could. Well, the money means nothing to me. I just thought it would be fun. Who? Who among us is vile enough to take the life of such a beautiful, precious creature? If I find out who did this, they will pay with their life! You'd be smart. friend, have you heard? Two of the guests now lie dead. If I find out who did it, I may have to take matters into my own hands. Between you and me, I think Matilda found the gold, and one of the others killed her for it. Maybe that means the rest of us are safe. If that's the case, then the killer got what he was after. And the rest of us needn't worry about our own safety. To be honest, I'm not sure if I trust him. He's a hard drinker, but there's something more. Well, Neville is a trained soldier. He was in the Imperial Legion for 20 years or so, I've heard. He certainly knows how to kill. Still, I don't think he's the murderer, no. Quite the contrary. I think he takes the murders personally. Feels he should have protected the victims. <laughs> certainly. Don't go far. It's too dangerous to go wandering around this house. Well, well, look who's here. It's the number one suspect in a cold-blooded murder of two innocent people. I'm watching you, scum. She was a child, and some sick murdering dog struck her down in cold blood. I swear, if I find out you did this, I'll kill you with my bare hands. Someone slaughtered that poor old woman like a lamb. I've got my eyes on you. Make one false move and I'll come down on you like a hammer. Now this is interesting. Two people turn up dead, and you're more concerned with my feelings toward the Nord. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to turn me against him to cover your own tracks. I'm a Red Guard. Though I've never actually been to Hammerfell. I was born here in Cyrodiil. My family has been in the Legion for three generations. I don't really know what you're trying to accomplish, but questioning me about Primo with two people lying dead just makes me suspect you even more. So? That's pretty good. Yes, yes, what? Don't be silly. You're pathetic. Not bad. I accept. I have no choice. I doubt you really mean that. You're full of it.
I ex- Yeah, I get- Blob, I doubt you really mean that. Yes, yes, whatever you say. You're path- Yeah, I- Don't be silly. Don't make me- Sure, that's cute. No more, you're f Was that supposed to be a compliment? Yes, yes, whatever you say. You're path- Sure, th don't be silly. Good one. No more, you f I doubt you really mean that. Don't make me laugh. Yes, yes, whatever you say. You're full of- That's pretty good. I doubt you really mean that. I accept. Sure, th I doubt you. You're a big, fat liar. That's pretty- Yes, yes, whatever you say. Blob, I'm not buying that one. I was in the Legion for a great many years, my friend. I saw a lot of horrible things, including the murders of children. It made no sense then, it makes no sense now. But don't you worry. I vowed to bring Davizi's killer to justice. Matilde's murder saddens me, friend. But not for the reason you may think. Ten years ago, when I was in my prime, this never would have happened. But now I'm old. And my instincts have failed. I let that woman down. That mead-swilling barbarian killed those two people. I'm sure of it. I don't have the proof just yet, but I'm watching him. Don't you worry, my friend. Nels won't get away with this. Not on my watch. Primo may be young, but he looks strong. And I'm sure he could handle himself in a fight. I think I'm going to enlist his help. I'll talk to Primo. Give him a bit of encouragement. If he and I are vigilant, we may prevent the killer from claiming another victim. Don't go far. It's too dangerous to go Two people dead. If anyone else drops, I swear I'm gonna gather every drop of alcohol in this house and drink myself into a stupor. Go ahead. Sure. Yes, y yes, whatever. Blah. I'm not buying that one. <laughs> Good one. No more. You're frightening. That's a bit ex- You're a big fat liar. Yes, y yes. <laughs> You're a- That's a bit excessive, don't you think? Not bad. I accept. I- I doubt. You're a big fat liar. Sure. Don't, please. I, don't be s You're pathetic. No, no. When I looked into Davisi's face, it was like peering at my own daughter. I... I feel like I've lost her all over again. Some bloodthirsty monster killed that woman in cold blood. It's obvious to me one of the other guests killed her to eliminate the competition. Assuming that's true, who's next? You? Me? We need to keep our eyes open, friend. And we'd do well not to trust the others. Ah, don't let the name fool you. I had a bit too much mead a few years back, and there was this tavern wench. Anyway, just call me Nels. With two of us now dead, it seems like the others are looking for Neville, for protection. The fools. He'll kill them like he did the others. That's right. I think Neville is the murderer. I can't prove it yet, but he'll slip up just you wait. Whatever you do, don't turn your back on him. Let me ask you something, friend. Why is Primo even here? The rest of us need the money, but his family is wealthy beyond measure. Maybe he was bored, or maybe he just wanted to do some slumming. Or maybe he's a trained assassin, hired to kill us all, one by one. Sound crazy? Well, these are crazy times, my friend. Stay safe, if that's even possible.
Two of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer, but who? Two of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer, but who? It's not safe to be alone. I certainly don't want to be the third man. It's not safe to be alone. I certainly don't want to be the third victim. Two of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer. But who? Two of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer, but... Who? This house is a death trap. We're being killed off one by one. safe to be alone. I certainly don't want to be the third victim. Two of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer, but who? It's not safe to be alone. Certainly don't want to be... This house is a death trap. We're being killed off one by one. You and I are the only ones left, but we're not alone in this house. You want to know something, my friend? I just don't care anymore. We're the only two left. I know I didn't kill those people, so that leaves you. And now you're here to kill me, right? Ah, well, let's get this over with.
Ah, don't let the name fool you. I had a bit too much mead a few years back, and there was this tavern wench. Anyway, just call me Nels. You want to know how I really feel about Neville's death? I'm afraid. I may hate the Imperial Legion, but its members are trained warriors. Neville was probably the most capable fighter among us, yet he was cut down silently, just a few rooms away. I fear one of us is not who they appear. This isn't the work of some greedy houseguest. There's an assassin among us. You mark my words. We must watch ourselves at every step. Primo being here made no sense. Whoever our host is, why would he invite someone who didn't even need the money? It's as if we were invited for another reason altogether. Think about it. We're trapped in this house with no way out, and now people start dying. I think poor Primo was tricked, just like the rest of us. If we're not careful, we'll end up dead, too. You mark my words. So I guess this is it, then? Yes. Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets.